Hello and welcome to Springboard Media's Active Tips. I'm Amanda Urbanzik. Today we're going to take a look at drag and drop actions. So I'm going to pin my browsers first. If you don't see your browsers, you can go up to View and make sure that browsers are checked. I'm going to go over here to the Action Browser. And right now there's nothing selected on my page, so all of these are grayed out. The actions that you can add without having anything selected are called drag and drop actions. And drag and drop actions are tiny little placeholders which let you use certain tools. So let's say I know in this lesson I'm going to use the pen and the eraser. I can drag the action for the pen in and I can drag the action for the eraser in. I can tell these are actions because when I hover over them I see a blue circle with a white triangle inside. And when I click on this, my cursor becomes the eraser. When I click on this one, it automatically becomes the pen. One great drag and drop action that I like to add a lot is the select tool. Now I can always go back over here if I need to go back to the select tool. These little icons are pretty small. Let's see if we can make them bigger. Every time I click on them in, in presentation mode, I get the pen tool. So I'm going to toggle actually to design mode. That's this icon right here or along the top. In red, I'm now in design mode. Now I can see that there's an outline around them. I can click on them and make them bigger without bringing up that action. There's a bunch of different drag and drop actions to try out. Pretty much all the main tools that you use in your toolbar. If you want an action that's not in the drag and drop actions, you'll need to make it through the current selection. And to do that, you highlight the thing you want to make the action, and then you look through all these options of actions. The one thing you need to remember when you're doing these kind of actions is that you need to hit apply changes. The drag and drop actions are mostly command actions that help you select a tool. So you can look through the command actions and make this something like a command action for dual user or for dice roller, which they don't have in the drag and drop. Thanks for watching today's active tip. Check out our website for more information.